what's up y'all and welcome back to another vlog today is operation get your life back let me tell you something today i have officially entered into my second trimester of pregnancy yay but you know what's not yay these eyebrows they ain't been touched in three months these feet they've only been touched once in three months and it was only because i was going out of town and i didn't want to be embarrassed in front of my friends my car looks a mess everything has been just lacking because this baby has drained the life out of me but well i don't want to say that because you know my little baby a blessing or whatever but the reality is first trimester ain't no joke but i'm so glad we've eased into the second trimester and so some of my friends told me you'll probably start feeling a little better at first i was like use a whole lot but for the last three days i have started to actually feel like myself and i said you know what since i'm feeling like myself let's start getting back to myself i am at the nail shop that is top priority because listen right now my toenails can cut a sheet let's go <laughs> Let me cut this air off. So my pedicure is now complete. I'm feeling really, really pretty. But I have a question for y'all, especially to the moms. I have never been someone who has like really visible hair on my legs. Like the most I ever really shave is my armpits. But my legs, I never really noticed them until today. Honey, while he was doing my pedicure, I looked down at my legs as he was massaging them. And I was like, not only is my hair thicker, but it's darker like it is noticeable and i ain't never noticed my leg hair before so is it a change in the way your hair grows when you're pregnant honey i'm looking real werewolfish by the dna of my legs like something going on speaking of hair let me go get these eyebrows done so my eyebrows are now complete uh yes they look good but did they hurt yes honey i ain't never felt no mess like that and i don't know if it's because it's been months since i had something done in my face i think it was probably june and it's currently september but i don't know what it was but honey that hurt like seriously just tears welling up in my eyes i couldn't even take the whole thing i'm like my god i do want to say I am glad I'm taking the day to do something for myself. That is something that my mom friends have kind of started stressing to me already. They were just like, don't lose yourself. Just make sure you keep doing something for yourself because motherhood is really, really a taxing job. So I said I wanted to make sure I did something for myself while I had the energy. And then on top of that, and this is just me being candid with y'all, what are you looking at um i've been dealing with a little bit of self-consciousness and i've been having to redirect the energy and what i mean by that is before i got pregnant my stomach was starting to be on flat flat like i was really liking the way my body looked after losing that amount of weight but now stomach sticking out i didn't gain a little weight i feel like my face is rounder and it's kind of looking like the oh it's starting to look like the old me and i know mentally it's kind of like a body dysmorphia thing like i ain't gained that much weight and i don't look that different but just the fact that i'm gaining any weight it kind of impacts me after i've been on such a journey to lose but i just been kind of redirecting my energy and just like even today i was telling myself it's not the fact that you have a big stomach it's the fact that you're growing a baby like if your face is rounder if your body is expanded it just means that you're able to consume the nutrients that your baby needs so that you can keep you and this baby functioning because that's the thing that um, I've heard some people in bariatric groups that I'm in say that sometimes bariatric patients have smaller babies um, because they're not getting in as many nutrients as other people and so the fact that I'm not dealing with that and the fact that you know we're healthy the baby's right on target i just keep trying to tell myself let's not even worry about weight gain or nothing like that now don't get me wrong i'm still gonna use discipline still tracking macros and stuff like that like i did have a little moment where i wanted pizza every day the thing that my therapist told me she was just like when you're consuming things ask yourself is this beneficial to my baby so that's the thing that has really helped me so i do want to use discipline like i'm not trying to explode and be like a size that i'm uncomfortable in and then have to do that much work after the baby but at the same time Time, I'm not trying to be so weight focused um, that's something that I've been um, really having to deal with and I just wanted to share that because I'm sure I'm not the only one that feels self-conscious with a little bit of weight gain and stuff like that but at the same time I'm so appreciative of this journey because it took me so long to get here especially because this wasn't our first time trying this was, this was our first time trying since um since the surgery has happened and the first time we knocked it out the park like them soldiers is marching but at the same time 
before this we have tried i've tried a, a few times and i wasn't able to conceive so the fact that i am carrying and my baby is healthy i do have to go through the high risk process because number one the surgery and number two my age um but at the end of the day i'm just like i'm so appreciative to be here so i've just been trying to retunnel that energy or redirect that energy and focus on the positive things so i'm not so overwhelmed so with that being said um i need to actually kill a little bit of time first of all i need to cut this arm because it's hot in this piece honey y'all just gonna have to hear this on today secondly on the way here i was coming up one side of the highway and to get home i have to go on the other side and there's an accident on this side and it was really really bad and even in checking the gps i see that the traffic is still really really bad oh this is loud yeah, we're gonna compromise and cut it down so anyway the traffic is really bad in order for me to get home so i'm right up the street from west county mall in the st louis area and they have a sephora there i've been hearing a lot of really good things about the fenty skin is it like a body butter or something like that so i just said you know what i'm gonna treat myself and try that out and see if there's anything else i want to drink myself to while i'm in there so i made it to the mall i'm headed into sephora they be acting funny when you try to film in there first of all they cut the music up real loud because they know they're gonna get us a copyright strike Secondly, sometimes the employees be like, no. So I'll film what I can and what I can't just won't get done. So let's go get what we can get. Jacket, 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 jacket. And there we have it. All right, so we have the goods. So this is the Fenty Skin Butter Drops. It's a whipped oil body cream. This is what it looks like um, with the outside packaging on it. You slide it out. Evidently, it's supposed to be a refillable type of situation. We'll see. Come open. So it's clean, earth conscious. So I'm down with it, especially since I've been pregnant. I've been watching my ingredients more and more. So, oh, this is pretty. So it's just a white cream. It's actually really thick. The smell is very light and fresh. Like it's really not heavily scented at all, at least not right now. So I'm just take a little bit. Oh, this is very, very thick and creamy. And it feels good on the skin. This feels very good on the skin. At first when I put it on, I'm like, I mean, it feel good, but I don't see what the hype is. It feel good, but the more and more I rub it in, I'm like, oh, I feel the oils in it. This is very, very moisturizing. Like seriously, my hands feel extremely supple and just putting it on. I don't know if y'all can tell, but there's a shine on my skin as well. So right now I definitely see the hype. I'm gonna see how long lasting it is. Cause sometimes you put certain moisturizers on and it don't feel that good like an hour or two. So I'm gonna just kind of monitor how it feels, but it, I kind of need to do that at home because while I'm in the car, I'm constantly putting sanitizer on and all that alcohol dries my skin out. So speaking of sanitizer, I'm about to sanitize my hands again once I pull up to the spot to eat because honey, me and baby in the city are hungry. And when I don't feed this child, there's hell to pay. Good morning, Shane. So as you can see, we're back another day. Yesterday, well actually two days ago, I filmed the video where I did this ponytail. And I listen when I say it wiped me out so much so that yesterday I slept most of the day like seriously I'm trying to keep up with the hair content but honey at this point if it ain't contractually obligated it's not getting done and listen I'm one of those people I try not to bust y'all over the head with too many ass but at the end of the day this is my full-time job right so I'm gonna just tell y'all this we are in the fourth quarter of the year aka holiday season with holiday season y'all know a lot of companies they want sponsorships so y'all listen at first you know i try to be a little you know try not to go too far with the ass because i don't want to be making it seem like my channel is a home shopping network but at the same time i got a baby to think about now so if you see me getting a little ass just know fast forward if you need to but i just got to get my money or whatever because the baby got to go to college so anyway speaking of baby we are actually on the way to a baby visit so the way my journey works i mean every uh every medical staff they may do something different but the way my journey has worked was our first visit was just a confirmation of pregnancy aka just an ultrasound um and then the next visit we got to hear the heartbeat for the first time Okay. Is that good? That's great. Okay. Anything between 1 and 15? 
110 and 160. Normally this early, it's higher. Okay. Or higher, on the higher end. Okay. And in addition to that, we did blood work, urine work, and all of that. And one of the blood works that we did was a genetic test. That test for chromosomes and stuff like that to see if the baby is okay. But one of the byproducts of testing the chromosome is you find out the baby's sex. My lips are dry, honey. Well, y'all didn't see me ask you before. Y'all know I'm cute, so that's just that on there. But anyway, we get to find out the baby's sex. Well, we took that test, and what happened was the test malfunctioned. I got a phone call. They were just like, the baby is fine. Please do not be alarmed by what we're about to say. And I'm like, I'm glad you said that because I would have freaked out. But she was just like, there was insufficient DNA in the blood work sample, so they weren't able to accurately um, get all the information that we needed so I have to come back and so today I'm actually on the way to get another blood test done to check on the baby's chromosomes and we will eventually from the results of this test find out the baby's sex I don't know when I'm going to reveal that to y'all eventually I will reveal it to you but it's just like I'm on week 15 right now we got 40 weeks to go you know I got to give you something to look forward to so I don't know when I'm gonna tell you but I am so speaking of which I just pulled up to the hospital let's go check on my baby And we're done. Honey, at first I was like, I'm so tired of these people poking on me and all these needles and stuff because the first time they did it, they had to get seven vials. This time it was two. But then I was like, honey, this is week 15 out of 40. You ain't seen nothing yet. So I was actually gonna go to the gym after this appointment. I brought my shoes and everything. But honestly, I just don't feel like it. But you know what I do feel like doing? taking a nap thank you all right change of plans i actually just pulled up to the gym um i just figured since i'm out i might as well go ahead and get it over with especially because i'm going to get my lashes done this afternoon and she literally tells you come prepared to take a nap and relax and so i was like oh honey you got to tell me twice so instead of going super hard because this is actually my third workout this week which i'm very proud of because i wasn't doing nothing the first trimester but because this is my third workout all i'm worrying about is just walking and that's the thing a lot of my friends that are mothers told me they was just like to prepare your body you ain't even got to do the most just be active and get up and walk and so as long as i walk for a good 30 to 45 minutes i should be cool i have a heart rate monitor that i need to put on my chest i'll tell y'all more about it later and it ain't sponsored although i maybe i should pitch myself to them because i really do like it you know we'll see what happened but anyway so you know how you can have like apple watches and stuff and it'll tell you how many calories and stuff they burn but if you google the accuracy of those calories burn a lot of times them heart rate monitors that are attached to your arm they're not quite as accurate so i chose to invest in a heart strap monitor so it pretty much just straps across my chest the actual heart monitor part goes right here and it's a lot more accurate as far as your fitness journey goes than when you have the watch because i actually have a fitbit at home but then when i found out about this i was like yeah let's go with this so since i'm here i didn't ram my mouth enough it's really because i don't want to go in there it's, it's flat out but i get winded when i talk now so that's that's pretty much a sign that i need to be walking all right let's go y'all so i'm on my way to my last appointment and I'm running late, but it ain't my fault this time. So I'm on the highway and the exit that I have to get off on, there's an exit. And let me show you what's in front of me. This, like, have y'all seen Final Destination? So you understand why I'm panicking on the inside? Like, honey, get out of my way. What's up y'all? So I just got back from getting my lashes done. I actually really like them. Unfortunately, the girl who did my lashes last time, usually I go through this one particular shop but the girl who was doing my lashes, she was no longer working. I went to somebody else, she jacked me up. Uh, my eyelids swole up, my lashes broke off. Like it was a really bad experience and I haven't had my extensions put on since December. So when I went today, she was like, I can tell right here it's a struggle because your lashes are almost non-existent. And I've always had naturally full lashes. So yeah, be careful when choosing a lash tech because they can really jack you up. That was the unfortunate news. Now let me tell you the positives. Uh -huh. I love lifestyle vloggers. I love to see strong, independent women that's on their job, you know, that's, that appear to be living a good life. Now, you don't know what's going on off camera, but on camera, it is inspirational. So, like, if you're into uh, lifestyle vloggers, three that I love, Jayla Majette, because she's very raw, very, very in your face. I just love everything about Jayla. Aaliyah's face, because I love her fabulosity and everything else. And then the person that is kind of like a combination of the two that's just, like, real raw in your face, but also very, very fabulous, Kyra, I'm unique. So... Kyra has been raving about this perfume from Zara 
for a while and it is called Ebony Wood. Now, let me tell you how influential this girl is. I don't blind buy fragrances, okay? I don't do that. If I can't go into the store and try it out for myself, I don't buy it. But this was only $40 at Zara and because there's no Zara in St. Louis, the closest one to me is Chicago and I ain't driving four hours to do that. I took a leap of faith and went ahead and got it. So this is Ebony Wood. It is a Zara and Joe Malone collaboration. It is an odd oh, perfume. Let me read you the notes. The notes on this are pink pepper, clove, and ebony wood. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, Chief. I am a jasmine girl. Like back in the day when I used to only wear Bath and Body Works, I was a Juniper Breeze girl. Now that I'm buying perfume, I love Lancome's Edo. It is so beautiful and just like dainty and feminine. But what I noticed that, girl, if y'all hear something in the background, is my dog eating. But what I noticed is all of my favorite scents tend to have jasmine in it and that it's unintentional. So this is very, very much so out the box for me. So let's just go ahead and try it out. So again, it's Ebony Wood. Okay, what you do, you know what okay, number one, this does smell good. It is very much so out the box for me. So it's kind of like, whoa, this isn't a good judgment. It has like an earthy scent to it. But at the same time, it is not so earthy that it doesn't smell like feminine to me. Like it actually smells good. This is a big adjustment, but I honestly can say she knocked it out of the park with this. Now, if I was going out, I would probably wear this because it's a heavier scent than what I'm used to. I would probably do a nighttime event with that just to like put that on and I would stick to like my Edo's and um, like my Jazz and stuff in the daytime because those are wonderful like daytime scents. But this, because of the heaviness and the earthiness, I would do this at night. So yeah, honestly, if I would say 10 out of 10 on a actual fragrance level, I would give it an eight out of 10. For my personal taste, I would give a five out of 10 just because I prefer more florals, but I do not regret buying it. It's $40 at Zara. I wish there was a Zara in St. Louis, but you know, we gotta make it do what it do. So yeah, Ebony Wood, I actually like it. All right, now let me go sit down because I can't breathe. Ahoy mate, so today is actually Sunday. First of all, I'm exhausted. So um, I meant to vlog a little bit today, but I was so busy working that I really didn't get a chance to. But honey, I got this thing where I've been having insomnia in the middle of the night. Like usually I wake up anywhere between two and four and I gotta go to the bathroom. Then sometimes I'm hungry and it's just really hard to get back to sleep. So I woke up like at two something, went back to sleep at seven and had to be up at 8.30 to be there at church for like nine o'clock so i'm exhausted so while i wanted to vlog today i've been doing a good job of listening to my body and when my body says shut down that is what we do so today there's really nothing else going on so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this vlog up thanks for chilling with me thanks for being so kind and supportive um through my pregnancy journey i really appreciate y'all for everything and yeah with that being said let me focus on this road get home safety y'all be good to yourself and each other remember to prioritize your mental health like i did this week because i needed it i was starting to feel real down on myself but i was like uh-uh the devil's a whole lot we're gonna get this thing together so yeah be good to yourself and each other and if you have a little down moment make sure you check yourself and bounce right back so with that being said y'all i'm about to go home turn me up a little chalupa get my little icy and i'm going to sleep love y'all peace